Hopefully the next time we're here, uh, they are going to get that spot on. The Albanian fans are here in force as well. They've taken sort of two corners of the stadium, like two sort of giant pizza slices, Neil Lennon, and pretty much all bar none, they are all in the bright red shirts, and they are giving as good as they get, aren't they? Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. It's been like this all day, Alistair. I mean, we've been here for, what, four hours before kickoff, and the atmosphere has just been building now. It's at a crescendo level, and the colour is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, some atmosphere for the French players to walk into. We've got a close-up shot in the tunnel at the moment of 20-year-old Kingsley Coman, turned 20 uh, only on Monday. Starts tonight his seventh cap. He has had some season, uh, as does fellow 20-year-old Anthony Martial. The teams are on their way. There are hundreds of photographers with the big lenses surrounding the tunnel, waiting for the teams to arrive to get their shots. The two nations' flags are being carried out by seven or eight young children either side in red tracksuits. And Patrice Evra now leads France out and Albania come out the other side of the halfway line onto the blue carpet. We have a giant blue French shirt being stretched wide in one half of the field. A giant red Albanian shirt uh, in the other half of the field. And the teams now line up and get ready for the national anthems. A win for France tonight. They will be through to the last 16. Beat Romania with that late Dimitri Payet cracker on Friday night. He is the last man out for France. He adjusts his red socks as we await the Albanian national anthem. Well, I have to say it really is quite a breathtaking sight as well as an astounding noise. A very sort of futuristic space age style stadium. As you look up to the sweeping, undulating uh, white roof above, it is almost like being in a velodrome. You almost imagine someone could get on their bike on a race bike and roll around the top of the stadium roof. We have sort of gloomy, stormy clouds above us. As I said, a cold wind, which doesn't really get inside the stadium because of the roof that encloses it and really looms in over the spectators' heads. The pitch looks perfect. The scene is set. France are here. They're playing Albania. We've got full commentary coming up uh, on BBC Radio 5 Live. To repeat, a win for France. They are through to the last 16. And Didier Deschamps has named this team tonight. Hugo Lloris in goal the captain same back four as against Romania Bakary Sanya and Patrice Ever are the full backs Adil Rami of Sevilla alongside Laurent Koscielny at centre back Ngole Conte and Blaise Matuidi as the holding midfielders in front of the back four Kingsley Coman and Anthony Martial start tonight in place of Paul Pogba and Antoine Griezmann and Dimitri Payet uh, plays off Olivier Giroud do you like the look of that French side, Neil Lennon. Yeah, I do. There's pace in it, and of course we've got Pay. A bit of magic from him. The only concern I have with France really is, you know, central defence. Um, you know, real experience at fullback, strong in midfield, and obviously great attack and options as well. And we touched earlier on the strength and depth that they have as well. Three changes for Albania. Loric Tana is suspended, uh, but the coach, an Italian Gianni Dubias, he's made two changes in midfield as well. He has left out Taulant Xhaka uh, and Odise Rorschi, who played wide right in the first game uh, against Switzerland. And at the moment, uh, the players are lining up either side of the halfway line, arm in arm, which means that we will have... I believe a minute's silence here but I have to say uh, I am not sure uh, what that is for we'll wait for the referee's whistle both sets of players either side of the halfway line uh, arm in arm facing each other uh, ahead of France Albania the whistle blows and now we will get the instructions and this is a minute silent uh, for the police officer uh, and his wife and the awful situation that happened uh, in Paris while we've been out here uh, during Euro 2016 and it says up on the screen at the moment the day before yesterday two French police officers were killed in a vile and cowardly act of terrorism UEFA would like to ask you please to pay tribute to them with a minute's round of applause thank you and that is precisely uh, what is happening now the French players 
side by side in the left hand side of the pitch the Albanian players opposite them and 67,000 people around us uh, applaud uh, for the two police officers uh, who sadly uh, lost their lives then the whistle blows the players break away we do have a Scotsman involved in the action tonight because Willie Collum uh, is our referee out here and I was just getting you through the Albania team news uh, so Tsana the captain suspended after his sending off Arlind Ayeti uh, comes into the back four at centre back Andy Leela and Ledian Memushai come into the midfield for Xhaka and Roshi so Etrit Barisha in goal uh, a back four of El Said Husai, Ayeti, Mergim Mavrai, and the captain Ansi Agoli, Burim Kukeli, Amir Abrashi, and Memushai as a midfield three, Andy Leela, Emir Lenyani as the wide men supporting Armando uh, Sadiku up front. Albania kicked off, they've lost the ball already, they're all in white, and France in bright blue. Uh, on the ball early, Dimitri Payet gets a first touch, plays it back to N'Golo Conte, uh, on to Koscielny, Koscielny to Evra, Evra up the left-hand side to Martial, a little trick from him, uh, he plays the ball back to Evra on the halfway line, here's Adil Rami of Sevilla, pretty much every French player trying to get a touch in this early move, uh, Conte fires it back to Rami, Rami into midfield where Matuidi takes control, uh, he plays it out to Evra on the left, uh, back to Matuidi uh, on to Rami and Albania as we thought will sit off sit deep try and soak up some pressure and keep France out and it's an early foul on Kingsley Coman Neil Lennon well certainly not the start Albania wanted the lost possession straight away from the kickoff and I um, haven't seen the ball since then Kikeli looks like he's going to get around Payet and um, try and stop him getting turned and running at the back four but um, it is as we predicted it was going to be it'll be all France and uh, hopefully Albania can you know, keep them away from the goal and their idea will be the counter attack but it's going to be a long night for them yeah Albania holding off at the moment so France have the ball inside their half being roared on by this passionate home support Evra goes long uh, down the left hand side and the ball goes out uh, for a throw in uh, to Albania which they take quickly and they come back uh, to the goalkeeper Barisha under a little bit of pressure from Olivier Giroud we picked up a booking in the first game, so we've got to be a little bit careful tonight. Although if France win, they're through to the last 16, and Didier Deschamps uh, may well change things in the last game against Switzerland. Although uh, the result of that could depend on who finishes top of the group. Albania have the ball, uh, playing it up from the left back position from a golly. Uh, Sadiku laid it off. Memushai couldn't control, uh, and it's gone out for a France throw on the right hand side. Kingsley Coman, uh, France's youngest ever player to start a game at a European Championship finals at the age of 20 years old uh, and just two days easy man to spot he's just drifting in from the right hand side at the moment uh, he has the uh, peroxide hair uh, on top and I think there's a little rat's tail as well they're bobbing around uh, on the uh, on the back of his neck a lot of French possession here Conte Ball up the middle towards Giroud. Looking for a physical battle with the centre-backs. It's cleared. Paillet chests it down. Holds off one challenge. And plays it wide to Coburn. Let's see what he's got. He's got a little dart between the two defenders. He's tripped. And he wins France an early free kick. And that is worrying signs for Albania. Nicely done. You know, he doubled up on him. He still found the gap between the two players. And Yoli had only uh, one option was to bring him down. So it's a free kick in a dangerous area. And straight away Payet's on the ball not always obviously anticipation around mm. the stadium Alistair. star man so far at Euro 2016 for France Dimitri Payet created eight chances in their opening game against Romania teed up Giroud for his goal scored the late winner and he's like a a performer on a stage at the moment he knows everyone is looking at him white number eight on his back hands on hips takes five very deliberate paces back away from the ball runs towards it whips in the cross headed over the bar by Giroud first chance of the game France nil Albania nil great ball and it was just a little bit behind Giroud and he just couldn't get enough off well he got plenty on it actually he just couldn't direct it onto the target but uh, yeah, really whipped in viciously by Payet there so decent start for France and this group earlier on today finished Romania 1 Switzerland 1 so Switzerland top of the group uh, as it stands on four points well ahead of this game France on three Romania on one 
and Albania yet to get off the mark playing in their first major international tournament what a night for them uh, up against the hosts in this incredible stadium here in Marseille Conte wins the ball back who else uh, for France plays it back to Koscielny uh, he goes high up the middle of the pitch Giroud nods it down Giroud gets another touch here flicks it over the head of Matuidi who is just quick enough uh, to nick the ball away and then he's lost it here uh, to Memeshai on the right hand side a real scruffy bundle of players everyone going in for a tackle there are about six of them and France eventually get the free kick four and a half minutes in France nil Albania nil well there's one thing that Albania will not be short of tonight and not his commitment and they've been very aggressive in the challenges already I thought they were unfortunate not to get something out of the Swiss game but uh, this is a different kettle of fish for them tonight yeah had three good chances in that game uh, Albania against Switzerland and the manager bemoaning the fact they weren't able to take them you know, the Swiss goalkeeper Jan Sommer making some really important saves Albania have a throw left hand side inside their half 10 yards short of the halfway line uh, they're all in white their fans are all in red uh, when we got out of the metro station as you said Neil like four and a half hours before kickoff, it was absolutely jumping wasn't it all oh, the noise levels are in the fan zone before the game incredible and the atmosphere's been fantastic I mean this is the host nation and it's a festival and a celebration of football and we're seeing that all in its glory tonight around the stadium it's fantastic so Albania trying to launch an attack of their own ball is intercepted here by Evra and the French fans roar their team forward Martial on the dribble tripped very obviously tripped by Kukeli in midfield and so France get themselves a free kick just inside the Albania half France nil Albania nil uh, on air until uh, half past ten uh, this evening your time back home so after the game we'll be taking your calls on the usual number 0500 909 693 looking forward to England Wales tomorrow Northern Ireland in action as well Martial on the run down the left hand side uh, is tackled and Albania have a chance to go long here up towards Armando Sadiku their lone striker the number ten who's going to have a tough old time of it tonight yeah, isn't he blimey point. yeah he's going to have to do a lot of that you know he's just trying to stretch France and uh, he's going to throw in for them Ajeti defended very very well there against Martial Ajeti started the game very well although I do think San is a big loss for Albania tonight mm. throwing towards Sadiku beaten in the air ball is still high in the air Evra comes clattering in to win a header Albania wanted the free kick Coman slips so France have given the ball away chance for Albania to attack down the left hand side this is Emir Lenyani ball into the edge of the area cut out but Lenyani gets it again Lenyani falls in the French penalty area, stabs the ball forward Lloris is off his line quickly uh, and falls upon it yeah there's no um, no real contact there he just fell over uh, got a bit of a break from a, from a 1-2 Lenyani and um, but we just crowded out by Rami and Matuidi but then um, yeah it's a Albania will be happy with the start they've made there's been no real threat to the goal apart from the, the set piece that Giroud headed over as I said before the game they managed to beat France when they last played them uh, that was almost a year ago to the day uh, in Albania by a goal to nil and the game before that uh, they played in Rennes in November 2014 and got a 1-1 draw so France won't be taking them lightly France nil Albania nil seven and a half minutes in that little busy figure of N'Golo Conte is bustling about on the halfway line Payet's come deep to pick up the ball gives it to Martial Martial with a chance to run uh, plays it wide to Evra Evra's balling towards Giroud couldn't quite get his head on and it flashes past Coman as well who was making ground at the back post and is cleared up the left hand side to Sadiku and the last touch came off the Albanian striker and it's so it goes out you know, for a French throw which is taken quickly by Bakary Sanya now on to Matuidi France blue shirts blue shorts bright red socks and of course all the players nowadays uh, in brightly coloured boots Payet plays the ball out to the right hand side to Sanya slows things down slightly just rolls the ball back into the French half Rami to Koscielny Conte takes it off Koscielny on the halfway line to Coman uh, Coman falls to the floor wants the free kick and gets the free kick for the challenge by Ansiagoli. I'm not sure about that 
you know, I think our goalie's played him quite well so far. He is tending to drift in off the line. I thought France would have played with real natural width from the two wide men. But Coleman likes to come inside a lot. He's not hugging the touchline as I thought he might do. And he's just clogging things up a little bit in there. Payet. I love watching him play. Oh, giving it away. Here. Yeah, Mistake France here. had lost it. Sanya slipped. Lenyani's got pace down the left-hand side. Conte's challenging him. Can't make the tackle. The cross hits Rami. Uh, comes back here to Memushai, who waits for Lenyani to get back on side, and eventually it comes off Coman and out for a throw. Neil Lennon. Just a loss of concentration there from Rami. Give the ball straight to the Novenian player, and they were able to break. But uh, just watching Payet, he can break the lines. You know, he's the one player who under pressure can go past people and eliminate them and it just resulted in a move that Giroud nearly got on the end of a cross but it was brilliant from there's great chanting and counter chanting between the two sets of fans in here as I said Albania very very well represented so the French fans all went up in unison for a song then the Albanian fans have responded now they're both getting involved little bit of pressure from Albania here they've won a throw deep in French territory on the left hand side 10 minutes played France nil, Albania uh, nil. Watching with former Northern Ireland international Neil Lennon. Northern Ireland play their second group game tomorrow uh, against Ukraine. Cross in from the left-hand side is too far from Albania uh, and will drift behind uh, for the goal kick. Andy Lila uh, trying to get on the end of that, but the cross was uh, rather overhit. So, yeah, tomorrow's action. I'm sure you probably know this, uh, but I'll remind you just in case. Two o'clock, England against Wales in Lens uh, full commentary on BBC Radio 5 Live Mark Chapman in the stadium from midday uh, with all the build up alongside the likes of Chris Waddle Robbie Savage obviously we're going to keep it very balanced and Nathan Blake uh, <laughs> former Welsh strikers joining the <laughs> commentary team as well and then Northern Ireland Ukraine uh, in Lyon kicks off at 5 o'clock your time and a good game tomorrow night as well full commentary on Germany Poland as well that is some day of football for you from Euro 2016 Giroud slips trying to keep the ball in down by the byline as he chased it through and he takes his right boot off and so that's the problem clearly red boot stays on a fluorescent yellow boot comes off insole remains in right hand and Albania think well yeah you get that sorted we're not going to wait for you let's crack on and see what we can do France nil Albania nil 11 and a half minutes played. I've seen a lot of that in the tournament so far. All of their players are actually slipping over. So, whether, you know, the pitches are cutting up, which they are doing. I noticed that at the start of the France the other night. Oh, they're not wearing the correct footwear. Albania have possession inside their half. France down to 10 at the moment because Giroud is waiting to come back on the pitch. Didier Deschamps uh, is waving to the fourth official and saying, come on, uh, let's get him back out there. Deschamps in a, a dark blue suit open neck white shirt this evening former Marseille player and manager of course Dimitri Payet another former Marseille player so extremely popular here and France do like playing in this stadium as well but Albania are keeping the ball nicely at the moment here's the uh, the lone striker Sidiku plays it out to the right hand side comes back to Abrashi uh, and then Memushai is closed down and wins the free kick 12 minutes in and Albania has started OK here Neil yeah, just stringing a couple of passes together, just taking the sting out of the, the face of the game a little bit, which suits them. And now they're stretching the game from one side to the other, which is good. I've been impressed with this left back so far. The seven. Um, Agoli, yeah, Played the captain. Very, very well so far. Nice and aggressive, good pace about him. And to be fair, he's uh, kept Coleman pretty quiet so far. Yeah, he's the skipper. Uh, plays for Karabag of Azerbaijan. Played against Celtic, actually, in the Champions League qualifiers. Uh, the start of last season, played against Tottenham in the Europa League as well. He's drifted infield at the moment. Abrashi uh, now finds him. A golly in space. Might tee up the shot here. Left-footed and slices it high and wide and behind for the goal kick. But um, better he, execution there and Lloris would have been tested. Well, he, he only had to get his head up. He had um, Sudiku inside him. If he'd have squared it, Sudiku would have been clean through. Good break, though. Lovely bit of football. Nice little bit of rotation, a little bit of interplay between Albania midfield got a golly released and um, just off balance with the shot but encouraging size for Albania now they're playing their way into the game nil-nil France back in possession with very high up sitting in one of the stands alongside the touchline here but as you look back up into the gods there are people who are way way higher as well and the players to them right from the very top rows of the stands uh, must really uh, appear very small indeed Rami 
Uh, he's playing it back to Loris, who takes a touch in his penalty area. Koscielny is closed down. Floats a pass over to Rami. Needs to be a decent first touch. Looked a little bit panicky there. Uh, whacks it away with his right foot. Then Koscielny controls from the Albanian clearance. Plays it forward to Payet. French fans love that, getting Payet on the ball. Uh, Martial's come infield here and starts dribbling out towards the left-hand side. Turns, wants Evra to make a run beyond him. He does so, but it's played back to Payet just inside the Albanian half. Floated pass through the middle, easily cleared. Uh, then Conte does what he does best, nips in, wins the ball back 40 yards from goal. Martial's pass can't find Conte as they look for the 1-2. Matuidi now plays Martial in down the left good chance for France Martial in and shoots that's blocked inside the penalty area by Yeti and uh, Albania have a chance to clear they've given it away again Ebra came in won the ball and then wins the free kick as well that's oh, brilliant from Yeti though great defending you know 1v1 against Martial in the box he stands up brilliantly and blocks the shot Martial I thought he could have done a little bit better but that was a great opportunity for him and it's a position we've seen him in familiar territory for Manchester United I thought he better just drop the shoulder and got a shot off but Ajedi didn't didn't commit brilliant bit of defending 1v1 there second set piece opportunity for France inside the Stade Velodrome a lot of French fans on their feet camera bulbs flashing as Payet steps back deliberately again hands loosely by his side and curls this free kick in underneath the bar headed away only as far as Kingsley Coma, who takes a touch and then runs here at Memushai whacks the cross uh, into the back of Kukeli and wins the throw in for France France nil Albania nil it's better from Coman though you know he's taking the full back on but the minute he's been drifting inside too much he needs to stay here play with a bit of width and open the game up for France Sanya's throw 10 yards short of the corner flag on the right hand side back to Rami so France will rebuild Koscielny is the only player inside the French half apart from Hugo Lloris across the halfway line to Rami now Conte uh, to Matuidi who's pretty much on the centre circle plays it across to Evra uh, Albania everyone behind the ball you can see them all talking to each other shuffling across the pitch trying to keep their defensive shape as Payet uh, plays it to Conte Conte working it from right to left to Evra Evra wide to Martial who might fancy a little run at Lila here Gets the ball on his right foot. Slides the pass in. Matuidi. Uh, laid it off to Giroud. Giroud to Sanya. Sanya to Payet. Payet's cross in. A Yeti slices it behind for a corner. Positive. Red idea from Payet. Just took a touch. Flipped it in on an angle. Whipped it in. A Jetty just got across but totally missed. Kicked it. Got a bit fortunate there. Could have went anywhere. Corner to France. Which Dimitri Payet will go over uh, and take. A good camera shot this one actually because Payet is completely surrounded there that <laughs> corner is dominated by Albanian fans and so you can hear the French fans actually getting behind Payet because they know he's feeling a little bit lonely out there uh, he's uh, a few yards behind the byline with his right foot whips this corner in diving header away Conte's there Conte towards Payet that wasn't the best pass Payet can't control it and the ball goes behind for the goal kick yeah, poor from Conte. You don't say that very often. It was a simple ball, wide again, and Payet would have been in a good position to go 1v1 against the defender. They're just playing a little bit safe at the minute, France. I don't know if it's the occasion, but they're just not opening Albania up as, as much as we'd have thought they would. And um, no three balls, nothing between the lanes. Not really seeing Coleman and Martial getting 1v1 in the wider areas. So Albania will be absolutely delighted with the start that they've made. BBC Radio 5 Live. Russia 1, Slovakia 2 earlier on today uh, in England and Wales group. Romania 1, Switzerland 1 in this group. If Wales beat England tomorrow, uh, kicking off at 2 o'clock in Lens, Wales will be through to the last 16. England will be under big pressure going into their last game against Slovakia. High ball here into the French penalty area. Hugo Lloris is not going to drop that. He's going to sling it out underarm here to Bakary Sanya who's got Komen ahead of him, but Sanya just stops for a moment in his bright yellow boots, just puts the studs on top of the ball and plays it back to Rami. This pitch is a little, this is going to sound very picky, little patchy in, in places. Oh no, you're, you're right Alistair, it is. It's, it's very, very dry as well and bumpy. I thought they might have watered it before mm. the game, but it's certainly certainly patchy in a lot of the areas around the, um, particularly the half that we're 
looking down from it's very very dry yeah that's France's half in this first half uh, Payet lovely measured pass there out to Martial on the left brilliant trick from Martial uh, Albania need two defenders to hold him up and uh, in the end Martial commits the foul on Husay the right back and Albania get the free kick yeah he's unlucky good cover in there from the midfield from Albania for Husay but it's more positive if, if Albania are going to sit in the, and defend France have got to make them defend and at the minute it's a little bit too comfortable for Albania everything is in front of them they've got a good defensive shape they need to get the ball in wide areas quicker and get out the fullbacks they've got a free kick inside their penalty area played almost 20 minutes here and France really haven't had a, uh, a really meaningful attempt on goal so I think that's a tick in the box for Albania uh, so far this evening have done brilliantly well to get here in qualifying uh, finished behind Portugal in their group but ahead of Denmark uh, Serbia uh, and Armenia started their campaign off brilliantly uh, with a win uh, away to Portugal that got them going they don't score many goals though seven goals in eight games in that group and one stat I read about them they actually had one less shot on target in the qualifiers than Gibraltar um, and Gibraltar took some heavy beatings uh, in their qualification campaign Komen to Sanya lovely first time ball from Sanya uh, to Conte Conte using Sanya again on the right hand side Albanian defenders scurrying back quickly Conte to Komen to Matuidi to Payet 25 yards out oh. chip ball into Martial couldn't get the shot away Ayeti was there good defending again by Ayeti as Albania break down the right-hand side, Koscielny's missed his challenge here on Memushai. Memushai tries to get the early ball in. France suddenly have it back because that was cut out. And now Payet is running at the Albanian defence. He gives the ball to Martial. Martial just outside the area. On to Payet. Payet misses that. The ball rolled underneath his right foot. This is opening up all of a sudden. Here come Albania on the break again. Sadiku is going to run with Koscielny. Koscielny will beat him to the ball and then Sadiku rather too obviously uh, gave him a nudge in the back and, and knocked him to the floor oh what a pass from Payet though for Martial you know a little disguised ball down into the the left channel of the the penalty box and Martial should have got a shot off quicker but again Ajedi was there to sniff the danger out absolutely brilliant defending from him he tried to swing his left foot at it but he got across really really quickly there to block the shot but then um, yeah as you say the game is just starting to open up a little mm. bit which it's, it'll suit France if it does yeah, it was a Yeti before as well, wasn't it, when, when Martial got in? He's made two very important uh, interventions for Albania, and he's the man who's come in tonight uh, in place of the skipper, Lorik Tsana. Payet on the left-hand side for France. Back to Evra, level with the edge of the Albanian box. Glides between two defenders, crosses in towards Giroud. And volleyed away, and out for a throw into France. Nil-nil. That was a good break again from Evra. Um, Giroud really should have got across the defender there that's all he could do was put the cross in not put enough crosses in for Giroud well, I haven't seen anyone fool it up for him and support joining in but as I said they just look a little bit safe at the minute France mm. for the way they're playing everything's in front slightly timid here's Conte on the halfway line back to Koscielny midway through the first half in the Stade Velodrome in Marseille France could be back here for a semi-final on July the 7th if they do indeed win the group and carry on going through the tournament uh, Komen's pass doesn't find its target so Albania will come away with the ball up to uh, Sadiku uh, who plays it back to Lenyani uh, to Agoli, the captain Giroud with a clumsy challenge on him Agoli is not knocked over uh, Lenyani with a clever little back heel Conte tackles him and the ball is out for a throw Armando Sadiku, the number 10, the striker uh, is named Armando because his father was a huge fan of Diego Maradona, Maradona. yeah because that was his middle name chip forward by a golly volleyed away by Koscielny towards Giroud the ball goes flying over his head uh, so Mavrai the bearded centre back for Albania is able to just clip a pass across to a Yeti uh, to Memushai and back to a Yeti again and France will stand off at the moment as Albania have the ball uh, inside their half here's Memushai one of the players brought into the Albanian midfield tonight uh, gets away from Giroud still inside their own half and it's Abrashi who plays the low pass out to Agoli on the left Agoli uh, back 
to Mavrai, the centre back. Then Memeshai through the middle. And on the turn here is Leela. Leela looking for that floated ball over the top to Husai. Controlled it well, drives the cross in, and Lloris makes the catch at the near post. And Sadiku wasn't far away from getting a crucial touch on that. That was absolutely brilliantly worked. That was fantastic football from Albania. And Martial got caught ball watching. The fullback, he said, gets in behind and puts in a brilliant ball. And uh, Sadiku's inches away from giving Albania the lead. Absolutely brilliant football. And they've been patient, they've defended well, and all of a sudden they put a few passes together, work the ball into a wide area, and almost score. Neil Lennon impressed with Albania on BBC Radio 5 Live. And we're here inside the Stad Velodrome tonight. Still nil nil between the hosts and Albania as Evra who oh, has given the ball away poorly there oh and then Albania give it back that was unnecessary uh, here's Komen in the centre circle on to Payet Payet with options ahead of him can't find Martial a Yeti in there again for Albania who are defending well and all the time as we watch uh, from up on high as France play forward you can see that big camera on the wires high above the pitch swinging above the players and keeping up with the action we had a helicopter buzzing overhead before the game uh, to get the aerial shots as well a golly is away down the left hand side uh, here he is a golly brings the ball back to a brashy uh, a brashy in towards the edge of the area uh, but albania have lost it there Komen plays it back to sanya uh, sanya with a curling ball up to the halfway line Giroud wins the flick on to no one well, he's isolated at the minute Alistair you know at times when the ball is going up to him he's got no support around him Payet's obviously playing off him but he's not getting anywhere near him because he's coming deep to receive the ball and at times he's fighting a lone battle up there and it's suiting Albania it really is and we're not talking about Albania's goalkeeper having to make saves mm. it's very very comfortable at the minute France nil Albania nil so France with a bit more to do here uh, this evening as Conte uh, of Leicester uh, of course in his own half ships the ball on Payet little one-two with Matuidi uh, back to Conte Conte on to Komen back to Conte uh, just saying Leicester there reminds me Premier League fixtures are out so go and check them out on the BBC Sport website Leicester starting the defence of their title uh, away to Hull uh, on the opening weekend here's Conte again uh, gets past Sadiku just picks up the pace a little bit good turn from Martial on a Yeti Martial looking for Evra's run but over hits the pass and it's behind for a goal kick nil-nil he's been poor Martial in the final bit you know it was a lovely turn to roll a Yeti and then he's missed a simple pass to put Evra in you know some of his quality at times particularly on tonight has been lacking in the final mm. bit you know if that was Payet playing that pass you know it would have been right it would have been dead weight yeah mm. spot on goal kick for Albania we're playing well here in Marseille France nil Albania nil big question is have they got enough to actually get a goal and really put the pressure on France Husay the right back with a header in field Coman gets there first uh, for France Conte controls the ball has his shirt tugged but manages to get his pass away uh, to Rami Rami goes for the diagonal now out towards Payet on the left hand side in fact that's Martial out there who lifts a, a high right boot to try and control the ball can't do so and it's straight out for a throw so he's had a poor couple of minutes there yeah, I mean it's true from him he's seen that ball travel 50 yards all he has to do is get his body in position to take the ball on his chest and in the end he's lazy just dangles a leg at it ball is headed in towards Komen he's quickly oh Conte in brilliantly fast there but Albania managed to win the ball back and here they come again the Albanians down the left hand side with their captain Agoli looking for support plays it back to a Yeti the ball centre back with the number 18 on the back of his shirt uh, played out to the right hand side to Husai Husai up the line to Lila and then uh, Lila's just run the ball straight out of play right next to Martial so maybe it's catching uh, Conte for France onto Payet just lets the ball run past him stabs one through towards Giroud but Giroud had run the other way and uh, it's just got a bit scrappy last couple of well, minutes well France have you know I just don't get Coleman starting positions at times if you're playing with you know natural width which I assume that's what Deschamps wants to do then hug the touchline and make the pitch big 
and let your midfield players play through them, then get it wide to you, and then go and take a fullback on and get into the box for a six foot four striker who's begging for crosses. Former online international Neil Lennon here on Five Live tonight, your Euro 2016 station. Full commentary tomorrow. England Wales kicks off at two o'clock, uh, followed by Northern Ireland Ukraine at five, uh, Germany Poland at eight. Uh, sports Extra tomorrow, plenty of sport on there as well, uh, with the tennis from Queen's Club and all the action at Royal Ascot. And the US Open Golf uh, starts tomorrow night as well uh, from 10 o'clock p.m. Five Live Sports Extra. Free kick uh, goes Albania's way as uh, Giroud with the challenge uh, on the opposite number nine, Memushai. Maybe just a little sign of frustration there from Giroud. I think you made a great point there, Alistair. You just wonder if Albania have enough to get something out of this or go because they're comfortable at the minute and I'm not seeing anything from France to go wow you know they're not absolutely battering Albania they're not putting them under immense pressure the tempo of the game has slowed right down and the game's there for Albania if they can nick one and as you say have they got enough to nick one then they could go on to win this well we'll see France nil Albania nil that'll be some story uh, the goalkeeper Barisha clears with his left foot, flicks on towards Sadiku. Koscielny's too strong for him. Sadiku stays down holding his head. Now what's going to happen here? Are France going to knock the ball out of play? Conte spotted him. Uh, Matuidi's thinking about it. The French fans are booing. Matuidi just waves to him and says, get up, son, and we're going to play on. And then actually does the decent thing and kicks the ball out of play. But I can't stand that about the modern game. I really can't. He's up on his feet, Sadiku. He's not actually holding his head the referee's not blowing the whistle so <laughs> it's pr the problem of the French players to play on they should have played on you can hear what the French fans think of that so Albania take the throw and quite rightly and uh, throw it back to Hugo Lloris half an hour played France nil Albania nil uh, Lloris is the captain and when things aren't quite going according to plan I always wonder about that as a as a goalkeeper captain a good view of, of the team from behind, but a long way away to possibly get that message across. Deschamps hasn't particularly been out to the edge of the pitch uh, to change things as yet. Albania have won the ball back in their own half, and here they come again down the right-hand side. It's Sadiku who's dropped deep. Husai goes outside him. Sadiku with the left-footed shot. That was ambitious. Takes a deflection and just bobbles into the arms of Lloris. There it comes from Martial again, coming into the central position with his back to goal here he is now in a more familiar position look at this oh he's miscontrolled again can he keep it in just That's better. better skill on the left hand side up against the Yeti falls over and it's a goal kick Albania because the Yeti didn't touch him now Lloris was brilliant there Neil in releasing Martial but well actually in the warm up we were watching that you know as soon as he gets the ball can he can he look for the quick throw out or the quick kick it was a great kick and Martial's got maybe 15, 20 yards to run into, but again, he's lazy and not getting his body behind the ball first to control it and then get out the Albanian defence. He's had a poor 10, 15 minutes here. Just wonder, Neil, as well, whether the occasion possibly is possibly, slightly got to him. Possibly. You know, both he and Coleman have been very quiet yeah. this half. Because it's one of those, isn't it? I mean, we said before the game it's inspiring and it's breathtaking, whatever, but it, it can either make you puff your chest out or possibly make you, you shrink a little bit. As Payet nods it forward to Giroud. France nil, Albania nil here on BBC Radio 5 Live Martial's tackled and this time he wins the throw for France 13 minutes remaining in the first half and France yet to seriously threaten uh, Albania a Yeti has made a couple of important interventions when Martial had a half side of goal but at the moment Etrit Berisha uh, of Lazio the Albanian keeper uh, is yet really uh, to make a save Giroud's had one header over the bar with the only real cross he's had fired in uh, at him. Now, Coman's popped up on the left-hand side here. Martial is over there as well, so it's all a bit bunched. Here's Payet on the halfway line, looks up. Delicate, floated pass towards Giroud, just too far, and Giroud stops it going out for a goal kick, but knocks it out for a throw. Still no real flow, Alistair. You know, it, it's a nice ball, floated over the top, but again, there's no support to him, even if he gets it under control. It's all a little bit bitty from France at the minute. Throw in for Albania. Level with the edge of their own penalty area. A golly tries to flick that on. Then barges into Sanya as he tries to win the header. He's conceded the free kick. Just a little bit over exuberant that. I think that's a yellow card. Do he's, you? He's, yeah, he's not even looked at the ball. He's just right into Sanya with, with his arm leading. 
so he's fortunate to get away with that I think mm. a little bit agricultural though and also the other thing it's done is given Dimitri Payet the chance uh, to size up another free kick now it's definitely not shooting range this is right out on the right hand side and it's a good sort of 40 yards from goal but Giroud's up there Rami's up there Evra Koscielny uh, Payet here he comes with his right foot goalkeeper comes and catches it this time because don't forget it was Borussia in their first game uh, against Switzerland who came out and flapped at the corner and gave the goal away but that time was a bit better and here's a Yeti who's received the ball from his keeper Kukeli uh, the holding midfielder to a Yeti a white to Husai Husai with a little dribble in his own half here Memu Shai as France try to close him down Coman's coming in quickly and Mavrai the ball back was almost under hit there Matuidi the ball just hits his shins Coman's done well to keep that in on the right brilliant skill to beat Kukeli then the low ball in and Barisha gets down at the near post and falls upon it so much better he's in a wide position he's got bundles of skill beautiful feet beautiful feet takes Kukeli out of the game end cross isn't brilliant but at least it puts a bit of pressure on Albania Kukeli on the left hand side for Albania France nil Albania nil 10 minutes remaining in the first half England Wales tomorrow Northern Ireland Ukraine both commentaries on five live England Wales at two I guess build up starting really tomorrow from our point of view from six o'clock in the morning on breakfast because uh, Mickey Campbell and George Riley will be with the England and Wales fans uh, in Lens ahead of the game and our build up to the match We'll start at midday inside the stadium with Mark Chapman and the gang. Full commentary from 2 o'clock. And get your calls in tonight to us as well. Uh, just talking about that game. Neil Lennon will be here to field some of them. Uh, 0500 909 693 on BBC Radio 5 Live. Another free kick for France. Uh, and this one is much closer to the penalty area. Just wonder whether Payet might think about trying to catch out the goalkeeper here. Payet with his right foot. Whips it in. Good ball. Headed over the bar. Uh, again by Giroud. And it's behind for the goal kick again I think it's just a little bit behind him he has to reach back for it pretty much similar to the first effort he had in the in the first 10 minutes and he just couldn't get enough purchase on it and keep it down it's actually come off his shoulder mm. head and then shoulder but it's, it's just, you can't even say it's better mm. honestly you know it's mm. not been not been great from France at all now you can't tell me that the French players and the French coach and stuff didn't know what way Albania were going to set up they're going to come they're going to play 4-5-1 they're going to set breakers down and at the minute it's all too easy for them because they're not playing with any genuine width and it's also why we think Deschamps selected this team tonight don't we Neil to, to, to combat what Albania were going to do but at the moment not working no the passing's been poor you know maybe the occasion as you say might have got a couple of the younger ones and, and Martial and Coman and I don't like to be over critical players obviously but they're definitely better on what they're showing at the minute Eight minutes remaining in the first half. Matuidi here has given away a free kick to Albania inside the French half. Here's Sadiku, our friend Armando, who got taken out. So he's getting booed again because he was the one who went down a few minutes ago when there wasn't too much wrong with him. But he now lumbers his way towards the edge of the penalty area as Albania get ready to take the free kick. France nil, Albania nil, drilled into the France box and Koscielny heads it behind for a corner. What a great free kick that was, that was pinged on a diagonal right across the box and had to take some great defending from Koscielny to put it out for a corner, superb ball in. Scary one for a second there as Koscielny threw himself at it full length but did really well to get the header high and away uh, from the goal. Now, this is important for Albania. You know, you don't have much in the game. Set players are important. Can they get the delivery right? Booze and cheers for Albania as they get ready to take the corner. It's Ledian Memushai, their number nine. Can they sneak a goal? Memushai hits it low into the box. And there's a chance and it's deflected behind. A golly with the shot. There was a block on it. Clever corner. And uh, Albania get another one. Oh, fantastic corner. Really well worked. I think it's Kante who gets his foot in, otherwise that was a goal. Had to be Kante, didn't it? Had to be N'Golo Kante. Just when he needed him. A goal he didn't get the cleanest strike on it, but it was good thinking from Albania. What are they going to do with this one? France nil, Albania nil. 
in towards the near post headed away by Payet to the edge of the box flicked on by Coman France now come on the break uh, Matuidi well that's asking a lot of Martial down the right hand side and he's run off the ball too easily that just sums France up you know great chance to counter attack you got Coman breaking Martial breaking Matuidi with a poor pass puts it out of play and there was a four against three there not all that impressive from France so far this evening throwing for Albania six minutes of the half remaining plus added time Paul Pogba is out and warming up and the French fans down there away to our right hand side close to him are really loving that Albania are attacking again down the right hand side some pressure on France at the moment now this is Abrashi the number 22 looking for that one two with Hugh Sy the right back who loves to get forward one of their best players in the team because he's the, uh, the regular starting right back for Napoli He's getting ready to take the throw as Pogba continues his warm-up. And this Albania throw level with the edge of the France penalty area. Into Memeshai, who takes it down on his chest. Good run down the right. Uh, cross in, clears both of the Albania players in the box. One of them was a golly, the left-back who was right forward there, and it's gone out for a throw to France on the right. It's Martial again, switching off. He say he gets around the back of him, puts in a decent cross. Unfortunately, just too much on it. Danger signs are there, Alistair, mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Be a massive upset if Albania were to beat France at their own tournament. Did manage it last summer, as I said, in Albania in a friendly, but beating them in a group game at Euro 2016 would be something else. Nil-nil so far. Conte brings it forward and fizzes a pass that wasn't meant for Payet actually hit Payet Conte though has made amends he's won the ball back as he always does Evra brings it forward up towards the edge of the area plays it out wide to Martial gets it onto his right foot gives it to Evra Payet's in a bit of space behind Martial so Martial uses him Payet just uh, stabs the ball in front of him to beat his man and now runs towards the edge of the area plays a nice ball to Martial looks for Giroud and it was cut out nice try still nil-nil uh, Kukeli on the turn trying to clear for Albania they're getting stuck in their own half here and France putting pressure on them ball is bobbling around Albania get the free kick in the end for the challenge by Evra yeah it was unlucky though it was lovely football again from Payet he is the one man who looks like he'll unlock the door for France tonight. And he can't have over reliance on the one player. But he's gone past one, slipped in a lovely ball to Martial, who, to be fair, picked the right option this time. But again, a jet, he just got a foot in ahead of Giri. Very similar to the opening game in a way. Payet's the man they're, they're looking to do to make it happen. Conte uh, impressing again as well for France. Albania throw the free kick forward. Koscielny wins the header quite a high foot there from Evra in the clearance Willie Collins blown the whistle but what's he going to give both players have gone down he's given the free kick to Albania on the edge of the box the football's up not too sure there was contact but you know in the European game it's a free kick Patrice Evra stayed down because he was airborne and landed on his back we'll just have another look at it here he got the ball and then his studs uh, catch Leela in the face. It's put up very high. It is high. <laughs> it is to be high. fair, he had to give that. I don't know if he got a shout from his linesman. Maybe he didn't see it initially, but that's a definite free kick. Yeah. That's a dangerous play. Yeah. So once the players are up, this is this is a real chance for Albania, maybe to get a, a, a strike on goal and give them this shot lead at half time. Closing stages of the first half here in Marseille. France nil, Albania nil. And as Neil Lennon's been telling you, uh, less than impressive uh, from the hosts so far. England-Wales tomorrow, full commentary at 2 o'clock. Northern Ireland-Ukraine at 5 o'clock. Germany-Poland, uh, full commentary at 8 o'clock with Conor McNamara and Jens Lehmann uh, from the Stade de France. And by the way, talking England-Wales, get yourself onto the BBC Sport website uh, if you want to have your say on who you think would make the combined 11 uh, of England and Wales. That's in the Euro 2016 section uh, on the website. Lots of chat about that today in the pre-match press conferences with uh, Chris Coleman uh, and Roy Hodgson.
Uh, both of them rather sensibly in their positions, uh, batting that one away. But we'd certainly like to know what you think. Uh, you can tell us tonight as well, 0500 909 693 to get your calls in after the game. So, nil nil, and Neil Lennon's just pointed a stat out there on the screen that says France have had four attempts on goal, and Albania have had three. Memeshai and a Yeti were standing over the free kick. It's going to be the number nine, Memushai, who'll curl it with his right foot over the wall, over the bar. And behind for the goal kick, Hugo Lloris made sure, had his hand there to save it just in case, ends up in the back of the net. But uh, France nil, Albania nil, it remains. That's a decent effort, just a, a fraction over, but as you say, Lloris had it covered. So, I mean, what are we, 44 minutes into the game, Albania will be absolutely delighted finding themselves in the position. I, if it stays like this going into half time, I've no doubt Deschamps is going to make changes, that he has to. Lloris, long ball straight down the middle of the pitch, Giroud winning the header, but he is fouling a Yeti as he's doing so. Holds his arms wide in disbelief, Olivier Giroud, who's had very little to feed on during the game. Albania get the free kick, Didier Deschamps just mentioned his chewing his nails and uh, Neil Lennon here thinks he's going to need to make changes and Anthony Martial needs to buck his ideas up a well, little bit well him uncle man and you know why have you got two holding midfield players uh, you know against a team that's going to sit in so I, I, I can only imagine Pogba's going to come on because they'll need a little bit more craft and creativity in the team from what we've seen so far one minute of added time has begun. Albania have won the ball on the right-hand side. Everett in with the tackle. Albania win a corner in added time at the end of the first half. That's Fred a big decision, that Alistair, because I thought it was a goal kick. Now, can they make the most again of a set play? They've worked hard to get there. I thought it was a goal kick, but Avery's going nuts here. Mm. If this goes in, we're going to have some very unhappy French players and some very unhappy French fans and you can hear the jeers and the whistles corner for Albania in from the right to the near post drops down in the box volleyed away by Matuidi Memushai his shot hits one of his own players who was offside flags up free kick France set player great delivery cause all sorts of consternation in the French box they get it half cleared shot comes in Saduki's in an offside position Albania growing in confidence quite rightly good first half performance from them Willie Collum looks at his watch blows the whistle half time in the Stade Velodrome France nil Albania nil let's just have a little listen to the reaction from the French fans not all that impressed so far haven't really made Albania's keeper Barisha make a save and um, we need to see more from France Neil Lennon don't we we need to see a lot more and like we said in, earlier on they must have known this is the way Albania were going to shape up you know they're going to be 4-5-1 be hard to break down he brings in the two wingers which you can understand ideally they make the pitch big and wide you know to give more room for your midfield players particularly Payet but we've seen no width no width at all Coleman's playing far too deep and inside the pitch Martial looks a little bit nervous and tentative in his play and we're seeing Pogba now warming up here as the players have gone in for for half time I would imagine he will come on at the start of the second half Didier Deschamps team selection so far in Marseille has not paid off Albania have been excellent they've had half chances and goodness me just imagine if they could get their noses in front half time in Marseille France nil Albania nil and Neil Lennon called it absolutely right just before half time Didier Deschamps has made a change straight away Anthony Martial does not reappear for the second half Paul Bog Pogba uh, immediately as soon as the half time whistle blew uh, continued a vigorous warm up on the pitch only player out there uh, for France during half time and Neil Lennon he starts this second half in midfield he does yeah Payet's going to the left you know they're taking him out of the middle I don't know how that'll set the dynamic of the team up with Payet playing in a wider position now but um, a change had to be made they needed some more creativity in the team and Martial looked a little bit tentative to tonight Giroud has the ball on the left hand side gets a cross in flicked on by Matuidi header at the far post and Coleman has just headed it wide agonisingly close for Kingsley Coman to break the deadlock 30 seconds into the second half well straight away Alistair you've got two midfield players breaking into the box Matuidi Pogba's in there and Coleman is coming in at the far post can't get enough purchase on the header 
but that's what 46 seconds into the second half and it's a real attempt on goal France nil, Albania nil. Hugo Lloris in goal for France. Sanya, Rami, Koscielny and Evra. It's now Conte, Matuidi uh, and Pogba in midfield. Payet wide left, Kingsley Coman on the right and Olivier Giroud through the middle. Giroud goes tumbling, wins a free kick uh, over on the left-hand touchline, 30 yards from goal. Uh, Albania have Barisha in goal, a back four of Husay, Ayeti, Mavrai, Agoli. Kukeli, Abrashi and Memushai, uh, central midfield three, Lila and Lenyani uh, completing a midfield five, they play on the flanks, and Armando Sadiku uh, up front. Danger again for Albania here in the early stages of the second half, uh, because Dimitri Payet's getting ready to deliver another free kick into the penalty chair. Whips it in with pace, curls to the far post, and just wide. No one got a touch, sometimes awkward for the goalkeepers, those ones, uh, as they wait for the expected touch. Uh, but it wasn't quite on target and it drifts behind for the goal kick there's just a different yeah. vibe isn't there Neil? more urgency you know there's more intensity to the play already they've, they've upped the ante which they needed to do anyway because they've, they've basically wasted the first 45 minutes just gone five past nine back in the UK five live sport on air until half past ten this evening we want your calls after the game uh, England Wales tomorrow uh, will be the main talking point and Neil Lennon will be here uh, through to half past ten to take those calls. 0500 909 693 uh, is the number to call us. 85058 to text at 5 Live Sport on social media. We might have another story on our hands, by the way, tonight to discuss if Albania uh, managed to beat France. A France win, remember, they're through to the last 16 ahead of the final group game against Switzerland. Uh, were they to do that, they would start that game on six points. Switzerland would be on four points. So Switzerland could still win the group if they beat France, uh, but that is all yet to be decided. France have a job on their hands here against a very determined Albania side, and Pogba's in the mood there because he went running past Memushai, who tried to block him, and Pogba grabbed his arm and yanked him away uh, as Rami dives in to win a header. Payet cushions a little pass to Pogba, who side foots it forwards. That one doesn't quite work, uh, and the ball runs through uh, towards the dead ball line. Nil-nil. He didn't really look there, Pogba, but... He was expecting Coleman to be in the position I would expect Coleman to be in, i.e. out wide. And he keeps drifting in off the lane and just clogging things up a little bit. Albania trying to play out of defence here. Barisha is under pressure from Pogba, who closes him down quickly. And Barisha hurries it away. Good header by Patrice Evra. Really committed challenge. Matuidi trying to get in the box. Oh, Barisha punches and it skews off his fist. But there's no one there for France to convert. It's out for a throw. To France on the left-hand side. French fans getting into it now. Taken quickly. Matuidi to Payet. He couldn't control it on his chest. Uh, Kukeli comes away with the ball. All in midfield. Dribbling across the face of the box. He almost gave it away to Giroud. He was pushed over uh, unfairly. Uh, and it's a free kick to Albania. Four minutes gone in the second half. Uh, and it is France nil, Albania nil. Looks to me, Alistair, as if Didier Deschamps has had a few harsh words to say in addressing him. Because the intensity, the pressing... It's a lot more physical, a lot more aggressive from France and they're putting Albania under a lot of pressure at the minute. Side-footed pass back from Kukeli uh, to Mavrai. Mavrai across to Arlinda Yeti uh, of Frosinone who's come into this Albanian defence tonight and done really well. A uh, curling ball down the right-hand side for Sadiku, the number 10 overhit pass from him goes out. Uh, for a throw into France on the left. We're just having a little chat, weren't we, Neil, before the game in the press room with a couple of journalists about Paul Pogba, why he wasn't starting tonight, and this conversation about getting the Juventus Pogba um, playing like the Juventus Pogba for France, because I think a lot of French fans feel they haven't quite seen that yet. Well, I think he's one of the best midfield players in the world, and um, I don't understand him not starting. I watched him in Rio, and France had a disappointing World Cup, but he was the outstanding performer for France, so maybe the expectation level on his shoulders is big, but um, I'd have him in the team all the time. You know, he's a superb athlete, mm. superb footballer and he's been wonderful for Juventus over the last three or four seasons now. Another France attack has broken down, Conte went long down the middle, Coman had drifted into the middle, flicked it on and the ball went straight behind for a goal kick. French fans think the Albanians are time wasting already early in the second half. Uh, Berisha uh, in a luminous yellow goalkeeping outfit with orange and yellow gloves and green boots. Sounds nice doesn't it? Uh, clears his lines that looked like a high foot from Conte trying to win the ball in midfield he's fouled Abrashi 
and so Albania get the free kick and the longer this goes like this the more France will get frustrated they've got some defending to do as well now here's a golly on the left hand side plays it back to Kukeli Kukeli 30 yards from goal Pogba into his uh, space so plays it left to a golly a golly switches play quickly to the right to Husai Husai's ball in towards Sadiq at the far oh. post oh it's hit the post and wide oh. the rebound is wide Lloris was scrambling to his left hand side Memushai was in there the initial header or touch came from Memushai and then lying on his back he tried to head the rebound in and just couldn't get the ball on target I think it would have been a San your own goal, Neil, had it gone in. That was a wonderful ball in from Hisha. I can't believe it. You know, it's it's ricocheted off Sanya. It bounced in the box. It's come off Sanya, hit the post. Then instead I think, is it the uh, Abrashi on the head and just yeah. going wide? What an opportunity. But again, it's sloppy from France, not stopping the crosses. And you can't take any international team for granted, you know, and then um, complacency, whatever you want to call it may cost them here tonight here comes France down the right stung into action Coman to Payet Payet lining up the shot just outside the area right footed low takes a deflection goes behind for a France corner seven minutes gone in the second half France nil Albania nil and the French fans now start to get involved Tricolores being waved furiously behind the goal to our left hand side that's the one that France are attacking they're all in blue uh, blue shirts blue shorts and red socks and Albania all in white as Payet takes this corner into the near post Barisha came but actually it was headed away from him before he could try and get the punch on it he doesn't convince actually from those balls into the box uh, France have a throw on the right hand side well we've seen more action in the first seven minutes from France than we did in the whole 45 in the first half it's so much better although there still is a threat from Albania but the defending set play as well no shots on target in the first half from either side uh, first time since Euro 2008 uh, that that has happened in the first half here's Giroud in the penalty area just rolls the ball out to Payet with the outside of his right foot delicious oh. cross arriving at the far post over the bar from Paul Pogba with his right foot slid in caught it sweetly just couldn't keep it down what a ball from Dimitri Payet that's a magnificent skill outside of the foot absolutely delicious ball and what we're seeing there is Matuidi Coleman and Pogba starting to support Giroud into the box it's so much better from France because they're actually they're actually crossing the ball which they didn't do in the first half and they're getting people in the box which they didn't do in the first half France nil Albania nil we're seeing more from France it means an even better atmosphere inside the stadium which really was crackling to begin with and then the French fans went a, a little bit quiet a superb turnout from the Albanians tonight as well who are occupying two corners of this wonderful stadium here the Stad Velodrom and here's a throw in from their right back Husai flicked on to Sadiku. Sadiku trying to get the shot away Koscielny gets the block in Albania get a corner he's a nuisance isn't he he Sadiku. keeps going yeah. yeah he's a rush he's a willing, a willing runner he puts his body on the line for his team and he makes defenders make mistakes plays his club football in Switzerland Armando Sadiku and he's won Albania this corner France nil Albania nil and Albania attacking the goal that their fans are behind a golly with the corner deep to the far post Lloris punches to the edge of the box Coman's got pace cynically taken out of the game midway inside his own half first yellow card of the evening uh, goes to Kukeli who will miss the next group game got a yellow card in the first game against Switzerland now has another one uh, so he will not play against Romania uh, in the uh, in the last group game for Albania yeah it was a good foul to give away because France were breaking good pace in the team on the counter attack really well dealt with by Lloris the corner and they were breaking good foul as far as Albania are concerned France nil Albania nil BBC Radio 5 live 3 brilliant games for you tomorrow to tune into so make sure you book the afternoon and evening off starting with England Wales 2 o'clock in Lens uh, full commentary from John Murray Alan Green Chris Waddle and Nathan Blake uh, Mark Chapman with all the build up from midday inside the stadium in Lens uh, Northern Ireland Ukraine kicks off at 5 o'clock as Coman shoots with his right foot and drags it wide and behind for the goal kick so yeah full commentary from Lyon on Northern Ireland Ukraine and then Germany-Poland looks really good as well, actually. Eight o'clock tomorrow night in the Stade de France. Obviously, uh, 
You'll have a keen eye on Northern Ireland there. It's a big one for them, isn't it? Having lost the first one to, to yeah, Poland. Yeah, a huge game for them. They need to win the game. Really, you've got Germany coming up after that. So, yeah, they were disappointing with the ball retention. They, they defended very well when they needed to, but they could have kept the ball a little bit better. So, we're looking for more in the against the Ukraine. Conte gets a right boot in to poke the ball back to Rami, who's inside his own half. Floats it towards Coman. Header from Mavrai. There's a way and out for a France throw on the right-hand side who have more urgency, pace about them in the early stages of this second half. Win tonight puts them into the last 16. Uh, with only two games played, their last game uh, against Switzerland, which Neil and I will be bringing to you in a few days' time as well. Uh, Payet trying to find Matuidi, tries to get it back to Payet, but the pair of them have lost it there. Abrashi uh, inside his own half for Albania. Uh, a golly. Low ball down the left-hand side for Abrashi. Tries to find a golly again. France managed to break that up. Just remind you as well, last summer, Albania beat France by a goal to nil in Albania. And November 2014, it finished 1-1 in Rennes. So the last two times France have played Albania, they haven't beaten them. Coman on the dribble, good run. Matuidi on the edge of the area. Lays it off here to Pogba. Pogba just rolls the pass casually out to Evra. Evra slides it down the line to Coman who suddenly popped up on the left-hand side. Coleman with a little dribble. Kick at him there from Husai. Husai eventually wins the ball back, I think, having initially fouled Coleman. That's what the French fans are complaining about. And then Sadiku jumps for it. He wants a free kick and doesn't get it, so that kind of evens things up. As Rami gets on the ball for France inside his own half. 12 minutes played in the second half. France nil, Albania nil. Mine goes back, actually, nil to uh, sitting with you in Belo Horizonte in Iran holding Argentina at bay forever, forever, forever and then eventually a little fella called Messi uh, got us rather excited at the end of the game well the great players turning on in the big moments you know so we hope we'll see something like that tonight here's Matuidi, good strength down the left hand side looking for the low ball in blocked by a Yeti at the near post Memushai dribbling out of his own half he's lost it, that's not clever Pogba 25 yards out, gives it to Paye with the curler, gets it wrong, high and wide behind for the goal kick. Yeah, you can see what he's trying to do, he's trying to bend it into the top corner. Had a little room to manoeuvre the ball really, just half a yard and he just got over it a little bit, but um, again it's an attempt on goal. But still, he's persevering with Matuidi or Coleman, I think one of them has got to come off and get Griezmann or, or even Gignac on and get another centre forward on, because they're in the ascendancy again now. Russia 1, Slovakia 2. Uh, in the first game this afternoon, Romania won, Switzerland won. The results in Euro 2016 today. France nil, Albania nil here. Giroud's limping and has stopped for the time being, but hobbles back into the action uh, as Albania come away with the ball here in Marseille. That little wind gusting up around this stadium again. The Mistral, as they call it down here. Uh, the cold northwesterly that comes in off the sea, but we're well protected inside this stadium. As uh, France just stand off Albania at the moment, take a little breather. Here's Kukeli. Uh, Kukeli plays it wide to a golly, and Albania just taking time out of the game at the moment. Playing Romania in their last game, get a draw tonight. If they could beat Romania, four points, probably going to get you through to the last 16 which will be some achievement in their first major tournament Evra heads it forward to Payet good chest control tries to find Pogba Pogba all over the back of Abrashi Abrashi gets away from him the much smaller man plays the ball out to the left hand side where Agoli the left back is on the charge Legnani ahead of him plays it infield to Sadiku uh, acrobatic headed clearance uh, from Matuidi who went flying over the back of Sadiku there and gets himself a free kick so an hour played still nil nil yeah it was a decent move there from Albania again just the ball into the uh, Abrashi it was just a little bit high for him it set up Matuidi got the header free kick to France but the comfortable Albania the weather a little bit of a storm that came up for the first five or ten minutes of this half and they're back into a good shape again Payet 40 yards from goal fizzes it at Giroud Giroud lays it off to Pogba a long way out don't know why he's trying the shot from there actually hits Giroud and comes back to Pogba. Maybe it was a deliberate one-two. Um, that's being kind. Evra, that is a good one-two with Matuidi. Up to the edge of the area. Evra looking for the cross. Gets it into the box. Giroud was lining up a swing at that. But Ayeti is there again to block it. 
cleared to the halfway line. Sadiku tries to lay it off on his chest. Albania get enough numbers there. And on the right-hand side, it's Lila, the number two, the right midfielder. Up the line to Memushai. Conte's his shadow, just takes it off him. Hands it over to Payet. Payet on the dribble here. Past two men and then, no, clean tackle on the edge of the box. Payet went down. The referee, Willie Collin, was there and said it was a clean challenge. Uh, ball and man. Here's Giroud. Giroud's won it back for France. That gets a big roar from the home fans. Conte pokes it forward to Coman. Coman, 25 yards from goal in a central position. Plays it out to the right hand side to Sanya. Back to Coman. Coman to Matuidi. Albania sitting deep. France trying to break them down. Here's Payet running across the face of the penalty area. Can he conjure something up? To Pogba. Pogba lays it off to Coman. Coman pushes it wide to Sanya. Sanya's cross blocked and it's behind for the corner. Yeah, they worked it well. Although it was really, really tight in there in the central area. They got it wide to Sanya. Again, good shape from Albania. But there's just a little bit more pizzazz about France at the minute with the introduction of Pogba. And even though it's not an overwhelming tidal wave of pressure, it's better pressure. 17 minutes played now in the second half. Still Albania hold firm. France nil, Albania nil. The Albanians have a corner to defend from the right boot of Payet, an away swinger. Uh, Abrashi with a diving header away. Sanya has Payet in space on the right. Lovely first touch from Payet. Good ball into the near post. Header from Koscielny over the bar. Yeah, he's well well defended again. You know, despite Koscielny getting there, he was never going to score from that angle. They didn't stop the cross. Good ball in from Payet, but... You know, Jetty was there again just to more or less marshal him to head it over the bar. Right, the Albanian fans getting going away to our right-hand side, all clapping in unison at the moment. Two huge chunks of passionate red-shirted fans. Loving this performance from their team, holding the host at the moment. France nil, Albania nil. Didier Deschamps looks anxious. When, when do you think... Will he decide to gamble the shop or will he be happy with the point, even though he's, he may get loads of criticism for mm. it? Would he take a point if we're not if they're not going to win it, or does he throw on another striker and go 4 4 2? I think I'd gamble, but then I'm not. Not in his shoes. Here's Giroud. Giroud wide to Coman. Coman on the dribble, down towards the byline, deep cross. Sanya's there with a header, nods it back to the edge of the area. Kukeli, powerful header away. Rami will get there first for France and then Sanya on the turn goes down doesn't get the free kick Albania get the throw in their left back position I think it's a good decision I think it's the right decision they prefer to Willie Collins tonight he's not been swayed by the home support I think he's actually had a good game and that's not me coming from my biased <laughs> Scottish background at the minute Alistair no new Hibs boss Neil Lennon as well as former Northern Ireland international winning 40 caps for his country and scoring two goals and we're watching Didier Deschamps France drawing 0-0 with Albania and trying to break them down Pogba's come on at half time Griezmann still sitting on the bench here's Payet Payet down the line to Pogba he gets past his man Agoli crosses in Agoli gets the block in behind for another corner Paul Pogba turns to the French fans arms wide and says come on we need you yeah he's given them a great injection of uh, desire really Great player down the right-hand side. And well defended again, but they're knocking on the door now. 25 minutes to play. Bit of pushing and shoving in the penalty area. Evera and Agoli. Payet with the corner. A deep away swinger. Koscielny gets the header wrong, but it's ended up back at Payet's feet on the right-hand side, just outside the area. His cross is deflected. Loops up in the air. And Barisha comes and takes it on the bounce for a horrible second. I thought it was going to bounce over his head and leaves Giroud with an own uh, open goal. Goalkeeper bowls it out over arm to Hugh Sy. 20 minutes gone. In the second half in Marseille. France nil. Albania nil. England Wales. First up tomorrow. Full commentary. BBC Radio 5 Live. Uh, kicking off at 2 o'clock. To be followed by Northern Ireland Ukraine. Uh, kicking off at 5. Here's a Yeti in the turquoise boots. Uh, playing with real confidence, Albania. Husai the right back two men on him slides the pass back to Kukeli whose pass is almost intercepted by Pogba 
So they come back to the goalkeeper, Barisha, and he goes long downfield here. Sanya lets it bounce, and Rami was in there. Sanya must have had the call, wins the header, and nods it sideways to Sanya uh, on the right-hand side. So France have it back. 25 minutes to go. Looking for a goal to get in front, a win today. Takes them through to the last 16 with a game to spare. Pogba's lost it on the halfway line. Lila for Albania. A Yeti chips one up the middle of the pitch. Conte flicks the header on. And it's back with Laurent Koscielny. What would you do, Neil? Uh, in fact, here we go. Griezmann's coming on. Yeah, it's a correct call, I think. Um, now it'll either be Matuidi or Koeman for me. Um, I don't think the shape's working now. Although, I have to say, Albania haven't showed much ambition in the last 10, 15 mm. minutes. Maybe that's down to the increase in pressure from France. But they've got to win the game. And um, it's a right call to bring Griezmann on, I think. Just the 32 goals for Antoine Griezmann uh, this season. 22 in La Liga, 7 in the Champions League. Missed the penalty in the final in regulation play. Payet, 35 yards from goal. Conte was snoozing for once there. Sadiku caught him. Sadiku's hurt. Conte wins it back brilliantly for France. And now they're coming. Komen's cross to the left. There's the header from Giroud wide. That was a really good chance. And Giroud on his knees in the six-yard box knows he probably should have scored. Brilliant player from Kirante again. Lost the ball, then went it back. Lovely ball in from Coleman, and he's got to hit the target at least with the header. He'd be disappointed with that. Griezmann on for Coleman. So Didier Deschamps at the start of tonight left Pogba and Griezmann out to bring Martial and Coleman in. Both the 20 year olds have now been substituted, and we're back to the starting lineup of the first game against Romania. And as you just heard, that is a fairly popular uh, arrival. So Antoine Griezmann has gone to the right, Neil. Mm, mm. He's kept the shape the same. Don't get it. He's a centre-forward. Play him up with... They've got all the ball now. You know, Albania is basically saying, we've shut up shop, break us down. And he puts Griezmann on the red. I think he, they've got to get more support to Giroud. Midway through the second half. France nil, Albania nil. And Didier Deschamps has played his second card. Griezmann is on Pogba's pass to Payet Payet finds Evra charging down the left hand side chipped in ball Giroud with the header off the post this time they're getting closer and hacked away up towards the halfway line Koscielny tries to win it back for France Lila nods it forward Koscielny wins another header Payet cheeky little keepy up then the back heel magic stuff from the magic man but the ball eventually goes out for a throw. Giroud's hit the post. Best football of the game from France. Beautifully worked between Payet and Evra. Lovely float across. Giroud gets up. Marvellous header. Unlucky against the post. Keeper was beaten. Yeah, great action replay there we saw of Barisha, the goalkeeper. That sort of horrified look on his face. I'm not getting there. And then relief as the ball thudded back off the post. And Albania managed to clear. 22 minutes and counting. France nil. Albania nil taking your calls after the game tonight in particular looking ahead to England Wales tomorrow uh, kicking off at two o'clock Mark Chapman on air uh, from midday UK time inside the stadium in Lens uh, building up to a two o'clock kickoff Albania on the ball inside the French half at the moment some tired legs out there I imagine having been doing a bit of chasing of possession in this second half but this is what they're all about. This is what they were so good at in qualifying. Didn't score many, kept the clean sheets. Mavrai's giving it away. Pogba comes steaming forward for France, stretching out the long legs, up to the edge of the box, delays the shot. Conte shoots, deflected, volleyed away by Mavrai. Only as far as the halfway line. Pressure building on Albania. French fans just starting to believe they might be able to celebrate in Marseille tonight. Celebrate a place in the last 16. France nil, Albania nil. And those blue shirts come sweeping forward again here in Marseille. Payet with the curling right-footed pass. Out wide to Matuidi. Pogba lets the ball run past him. Shakes off his marker. Payet to Griezmann. Griezmann to Pogba. Floats it into the area. And on the stretch was Matuidi. Couldn't make contact behind for the goal kick. That's good vision though. You know, beautiful first-hand ball. Just, just too far ahead of Matuidi. But it's so much better now from France. There is a flu to the way they're playing now. I agree with you, Alistair. Albania are tearing. They're making a change. They have to because they're just starting to run out of energy. 
and basically for the last 20 minutes now it'll be attack against the fence Odise Roshi is coming on who started the first game on the right hand side and that's where he's going to go now Andy Leela uh, has gone off uh, Odise Roshi plays his club football in Croatia uh, a right winger known as the Rocket so we'll, uh, we'll see if we can see why now that he's into the action uh, Evra beats him in the air to win a header a Yeti volleys it forwards Evra wins another header Payet just hooks it over his shoulder uh, but Albania clear Evra's there again on the left Payet again with a first time ball forward Giroud will chase a Yeti with a bobbly one back to his goalkeeper Barisha was calm enough to uh, kick it away but a Yeti couldn't keep it in France get the throw he's not the greatest with his feet either is he really you know um but well, it's more pressure from France now. Payet's cross into the area, headed away by a golly, but Pogba, well, he was trying to get it out to Sanya on the right. It was good vision, he just couldn't quite execute. Huge long legs, Pogba stretched to control the ball. He's lost it, thinks about committing the foul, decides not to, Conte does. No play on. Referee says there was nothing doing there, that the Albania player went down and wasn't touched. Payet, floated ball across the face of the box. Pogba nonchalantly brings it down on his chest Albania wanting to stop cross in a Yeti heads it away Albania have a man down they're still asking France to stop play on no, play exactly on. there's no need to Pogba goes down is fouled he falls on the ball grabs it with his hands and is penalised for handball that's absolutely ridiculous from the Albanian players though the referee's not giving the free kick Sadiq is laying down they want him to kick the ball out while they're attacking no chance absolutely no chance France were well within the rights to play on there another Albania player down and I presume this is the old cramp it's thing cramp, yeah it looks that way yeah because a Yeti is helping him uh, in fact two of his teammates now lifting his legs up and bending those toes back towards him yeah that was a dive wasn't it it's a great decision from yeah. the ref again from where we were it looked a free kick all day mm. long but he's actually dived in the count there to try him in the foul yeah we're just talking about the earlier one where Albania wanted the free kick and Memeshai threw himself to the floor Kukeli is down at the moment France players coming over for a drink it's not actually that that warm this evening I'm sure it's hot work down there but quite pleased I brought the jumper this evening because I wasn't going to we are on the south coast in France but we've got the breeze another change for Albania and Xhaka uh, is coming on whose brother of course uh, plays for Switzerland they were up against each other in the first game so Xhaka comes on and Kukeli comes off who's the fellow who's down with cramp and all of this just sort of breaks up the, yeah, the I mean, momentum what Albania will do now is just try and kill the game frustrate France as much as they can the French have got to try and remain patient and try and keep the tempo up because it's all about them now it's all about France can they find the breakthrough England-Wales tomorrow on BBC Radio 5 Live full commentary at 2 o'clock taking your calls tonight with Neil Lennon here through until half past 10 0500 909 693 starting the build up at 6 o'clock in the morning in breakfast with Nicky Campbell and George Riley with the England and Wales fans and then Mark Chapman starts the, uh, the build up in the stadium uh, in Lens uh, from midday we follow it with full commentary on Northern Ireland Ukraine uh, and and finish dessert uh, tomorrow night is Germany Poland uh, in the Stade de France uh, with Conor McMahon and Jens Lehmann Didier Deschamps uh, is out and uh, waving his team forward they've only got 16 minutes left to try and break Albania down here uh, Conte follows it up towards Giroud Albania have it again. That's a nice turn from the Rocket, as I was describing him. Rorschach pick me a minute. on the right-hand side. He's won the free kick, Neil. I used to have a dog called Rocket. You used to have a, what, a, a dog, yeah. Did you? Called Rocket, yeah. <laughs> she was a nuisance. <laughs> well, let's see if uh, Rorschach can do exactly the same. He's won the free kick for a start. And this is dangerous for France. Free kick is 10 yards in from the touchline on the right. Memushai is going to curl it in with his right foot and the French defenders all in a line on the edge of the penalty area Lloris just inside his six yard box moving nervously from foot to foot Memushai a bouncing ball into the area Evra concentrated well let it bounce and then just cleared it away here's Agoli the left back into the last 15 minutes of the second half and I don't think anyone saw this coming at the moment France nil Albania nil 
Berisha, the goalkeeper, clears downfield. Ever with the header away. Abrashi volleys it up in the air. Matuidi can't win the header. And here come Albania down the right-hand side. Roshi, the substitute. Out to Husai. Husai's cross to the far post is too high. And Lenyani can't get on the end of it. Sliding challenge there from Abrashi on Sanya. And Sanya wins the free kick. Won't be popular with that corner of the ground because that's where all the Albanian fans are. Just looking at the body language of the Albanians now, they have gone, we'll take a 0-0. You know, there's a set, there's a set, oh, Giroud's coming off now. Giroud off. Wow. Gignac on. Wow. Andre-Pierre Gignac. And part of the reason he'll be getting a massive roar is he is a former Marseille player. Olivier Giroud, possibly rather unfairly, is not the most loved by the French fans. He scored eight goals in his last six starts for France and he's hit the post with a header tonight. But Gignac is a bit of a cult figure here. Now playing his club football in Mexico. And immediately big burly figure number 10 chases the ball through but it's with Berisha, uh, the Albanian goalkeeper. So that's it. Deschamps played, played his hand now. All three subs on. 14 minutes to go. Can France find the winner? Can Albania find the winner? All positive substitutions from Deschamps to prefer them but... I'm not convinced they'll be in here trying to win the game they, I, was, I just think they're looking for set players to contain France and just see it out for a draw it's all about France now can they find the winner Pogba three headers just keeping the ball up on his head uh, and then eventually offside flag goes up uh, against Gignac and so Albania get a free kick so they'll take their time over the restarts 13 minutes remaining France nil, Albania nil. England, Wales, two o'clock uh, tomorrow. Full commentary here on Five Live. And if you want to have your say uh, on a combined 11 between England and Wales, then BBC Sport website, the place to head uh, for that as Evra nods the ball away for France. Frustrating night for the hosts. Nil-nil against Albania. Oh, and then a slip in midfield. And this could be real problems for Albania now. Pogba bringing the ball away. Gignac in space on the right-hand side. The angle tight for Gignac. Not a good first touch. Gets the cross in, though, over Berisha. Might come to Payet. Payet in the area. What will he do? Onto his right foot. Back onto the left. Back onto the right again. Chips the ball in. Headed away. Volleyed by Sanya over the bar. And behind for a goal kick. I think that's a wasted opportunity. You know, it was a great prick. Slip in midfield from the Albanians. Pogba puts a great ball in the Gignac. His first touch lets him down. And then they never really looked like they were going to score after that. Albania have gone. The cramp is setting in. Tiredness is setting in. They just want to see the end of this game now. And they're looking ragged a little bit as well. But they're hanging in there. Only because I don't think France have been good enough to break them mm. down, actually. Giroud's header against the post, which doesn't count as an attempt on target, means France haven't had an attempt on target in the game I think I'm right in saying France nil Albania nil 89th minute France scored the winner Dimitri Payet against Romania on Friday night so hang in there people listening this evening in fact stay with us all the way through to half past 10 0500 909 693 you can have a chat to Neil Lennon as well ahead of England Wales tomorrow and Northern Ireland Ukraine England Wales kicking off at 2 uh, a golly plays it to a Yeti who was the latest Albania player to go down with cramp which is what all the whistles were about just moments ago Rorschi on the right hand side to Xhaka one of the uh, Albanian players with fresh legs having just come off the bench Abrashi's worked hard uh, he's over on the left hand side Albania have the ball and they want to keep it for as long as possible Matuidi's in there to try and win it back can't get there a Yeti plays it up the inside right channel it does reach Sadiku Koscielny comes in to try and get a foot in now Rorschi, the substitute on the right-hand side. Conte is running and running to try and get it back for France. He can't do it at the moment. France nil, Albania nil. France booing the possession that Albania have. Desperate for their team to get it back. It's been given away. And here they come. Les Bleu. Payet looking for the nutmeg in the centre circle. Couldn't pull it off. That is a bad trip on Matuidi. And Abrashi here gets booked. France want to take the free kick quickly. And they're not allowed to. <laughs> a brushy saying to the referee it's a first foul but it was a bad one yeah 
It's a tight, tightly tied leg, wasn't it? Neil? Yeah, they're, they're, they're tired. Any time they've got possession now, they're just passing for the sake of passing. They're not showing any ambition to get the ball forward. They're just trying to really slow the game down and take the sting out of it. Wonderful sight looking around the Stade Velodrome at the moment because right on cue the tricolores are out. Lots and lots of French fans waving them. France have a free kick, 10 yards inside the Albania half. We're into the last 10 minutes of the game and Albania still hold firm. For how long? Payet's free kick down the middle. Headed by Koscielny just wide. Not even sure he got a touch actually. I think he did. It's a glorious opportunity. It's a superb ball in by Payet. He actually could have brought it down on his chest. He's in. He's in on goal. He hit the target with the header. What an opportunity that is as well. Albania are just hanging in there now. They're like a, a boxer on the ropes. They're just completely body language, energy levels really, really down now. France. But they're getting the encouragement because France can't get the breakthrough. They can't put them away. 67,000 people inside this stadium, most of them supporting France. There'll be some noise. But France can find the goal Pogba in the centre circle finds Griezmann barely touched the ball since he's been on Matuidi back to Conte Conte chip diagonal pass towards Payet not a good ball actually and then Rorschi clears up to the halfway line Conte wins it back Matuidi on to Evra Griezmann making ground in the middle Gignac receives the ball with his back to goal gets the pass away to Pogba that's a poor first touch loop the ball up in the air wins it back with a sliding challenge then he goes down Conte's in there gets it for France stabs it forward to the right hand side Gignac is on the ball here in the box they've got to be careful with the tackles Albania Sanya's cross it oh Griezmann attacks it ball in the six yard box and Barisha gets there and jumps in to catch it before Matuidi could get a toe on it and poke it in oh, fantastic ball in from Sanya Griezmann just just short of the cross a jetty again there he's going down with cramp again but a jetty's there again just there's enough to put him off and not get enough contact on it ball bounced up but keeper was able to collect it no problem more jeers and whistles because a yeti's gone down with cramp for the second time in about 10 minutes the French fans don't believe he's hurt they think that's just time wasting Albania getting ready to make another change France haven't beaten them the last two times they've played them they knew how difficult this was going to be and it has been, but as Neil Lennon's been saying, they're hanging on Albania at the moment. And here's another header, won by Rami. On to Matuidi. Albania backtracking. Griezmann. Griezmann to Payet. In the penalty area, Payet dribbling. They're trying to get the challenges in. Plays it back to Matuidi, just about controls it. Left-footed shot on the edge of the area's block. Conte with the drive. Deflected just wide. Behind for a corner. They are giving it everything, Albania. You know, they're getting bodies back in numbers. They're getting blocks. They're throwing their bodies at the ball. I think there's a twist in this game. I think France might nick one just before the end. We're in the 84th minute of the game. Again, the tricolores are being way furiously. A Yeti is now coming off. He's and been outstanding, Alice. Yeah, he has. Absolutely right, Neil who's come into the side for Sana today. He's getting booed off, but quite rightly, a standing ovation from the Albanian fans. Frederick Vasselli, seven years in England he has, didn't play too much football, was at Manchester City and Manchester United without playing for the first team. Big moment for him, comes on in the centre of defence. It's always dangerous when you make a substitution at a corner, but it's needs must. But these guys don't play regular football, and when they're thrown in the big tournament, I guess it's bound to catch up with them. Payet with the corner with his right foot, curled into the area, drops down in the box, everyone's in the penalty area, Albania somehow get it clear, up towards the halfway line, Albania now have pretty much every outfield player inside their own penalty area, desperately clinging on, France nil, Albania nil, and Albania are five and a half minutes plus added time away from getting a point that would set them up nicely for a final group game against Romania, it would be some effort here as well, Still some defending to do. Gignac in the box, heading down to the byline, gets the cross wrong, floats it over the bar behind for the goal kick. You know, for all the pressure and all the chances they've had, I, was th I still can't remember the goalkeeper having to make a save. Apart from, you know, being beaten by the Giroud header, I can't remember him having to make a save. It is interesting, isn't it, Neil? I mean, if we think longer term in the tournament, you know, coming up against 
the better. I mean, Albania have defended really well, don't get me wrong, but, but you know, France and their, their overall chances of winning it. Listen, if France were playing a better class of opposition tonight, they'd been beaten. Well, that's it. 85058 for your thoughts. 0500 909 693 to chat to Neil Lennon this evening. Looking ahead to England, Wales and Northern Ireland, Ukraine tomorrow. Full commentary on both games. England, Wales kicks off at 2. A BBC iPlayer for your Euro 2016 catch up from 6 a.m. tomorrow morning if you've missed anything. France nil, Albania nil. Are we going to get another dramatic late winner for the hosts to take them through to the last 16? Conte turns inside his own half. Albania have everyone back. Koscielny, diagonal ball forward towards Payet, who lets Husai win the ball in front of him because he knew it was going to be knocked out for a throw. Evra takes the throw. Poor touch from Conte. Now Sadiku has run hard tonight. He's not going to catch that one. Throw in for France inside their own half. They take it quickly. Four minutes. Four minutes plus added time remaining. France nil, Albania nil. Conte in the centre circle. Wide to Evra. Payet. Can he make it happen again? Wide on the left-hand side. Good skills. Rolls the ball back to Conte. Conte to Pogba. Pogba, 25 yards out. Driving run. Holds off Memushai. Plays it wide to Sanya. Back to Pogba who comes short. Pogba turns. Floats a left-footed cross towards Payet. Just outside the area on the left. Chests it down. Onto his right foot. Evra goes outside him. Crosses with his left towards Griezmann. Griezmann can't control it. France win it back again. Conte to Payet inside the area step over still Payet three defenders there Payet beats them all back to Conte his shot's blocked comes back to him Conte with the chip cross chested down oh he slipped Pogba slipped as he pulled the trigger and went to hit the shot and here come Albania on the break by the way a golly is fouled by Conte as he was getting away down the left hand side Conte's booked Marvellous, marvellous drama here. Tug was just about to control it and have a shot. And he slips and it's been a feature of the tournament. You know, I just don't understand that when the pitches do cut up, the surfaces aren't great, they're not wearing the right footwear. That was a big moment. They've broken down the pitch, they've got a free kick. Can they make the most of it? Are oh. they going to show ambition here? Are they going to keep the ball in the corner or are they going to actually put it in the box? Albanian fans celebrating winning the free kick. They've gone back with the free kick. So they're going to keep possession for the moment. We're heading towards the 89th minute of the game, and that's when France scored against Romania. Ever with the header away, but Rorschi will get this for Albania on the right, and the coach wants to get on the pitch and tell him what to do. Here's Rorschi. Oh, he's beaten him. He's beaten Payet down the right. Cross into the far post over everyone. Might drop at the back post. Lenyani hits the shot. Oh, and it's headed away. And here's Griezmann chipping one down the line for Conte. Ball hit Conte's hand accidentally. Play on. France nil, Albania nil. 89th minute of the game. Here come France. Driving forward. Roared on by the home fans. Pogba slides in. Finds Payet. Payet almost treads on the ball and falls over. Keeps it. Plays it to Matuidi. Cross in. Headed wide at the near post by Gignac. Oh no, there was a touch on it from the defender. It's a corner. Payet takes it short. Payet gets it back from Matuidi. Will Payet do it again? Crosses in. That's not good. Mavrai heads it away 90th minute of the game Payet Payet's curling ball towards Koscielny headed away by a golly Rami's there Rami the centre back crosses in Griezmann in the 90th minute for France they've done it again poor old Albania has sunk with a last minute winner and 60,000 French fans go absolutely bonkers in Marseille. Say what you like about France. They haven't been at their best, but they keep going till the end. And Griezmann's done the business. They're through to the last 16. It's France 1, Albania 0. Well, I said the score. And the only reason I thought that was because Albania were just dead on their feet, Alistair. They've given everything right up until the 90th minute. But the amount of pressure that was coming... Eventually, it was going to break them down. The ball comes out wide. I think it's Rami the centre half, actually. Griezmann's free in the box, and that's where you want him to be anyway. It's a beautiful cross in. 
And unfortunately, for the first time in the game, there's a gap between the two Albanian centre halves. And Griezmann just stands still and gauge a beautiful header into the far corner. Having had to change the centre halves as well, Vasselli's the new one. It's absolutely heartbreaking for Albania. It is, yeah. It and is. Do you know what, Neil? I, I referenced this earlier in the commentary. Five minutes of added time if Albania can summon some energy to have a go. But you and I, a couple of years ago, Iran did exactly the same to Argentina and they were sunk in the 90th minute by a better goal than that one, actually, to be fair. But it's happened again. France kept going, kept going, and you called it. You just didn't feel Albania were going to be able to hold out. And France are heading through to the last 16. Yeah, I mean, they've given so much. I mean, the, 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 the fans here can be so proud of the Albanians. You know, they've given everything for their country tonight. But it's just... When you're not playing regular football at this level, it catches up with you and you can just tell the body language and the energy levels sagging. And it was all about could France break them down and eventually they did. Rorschi, the substitute's giving it away. France might fancy a second on the break. Gignac, Gignac might get away here from the defenders. On the ball, Gignac, two men to beat, he's tackled. Pogba's up behind him, slides in and doesn't win the ball. So Albania have it. We played a minute of added time. Ball over the top for Sadiku to chase Lloris out to the edge of his box and catches it for France. France won Albania nil. Didier Deschamps sits in his seat, takes a glug of water, breathes a huge sigh of relief. They're going to have to play better, aren't they? Oh, Neil? much better, Alistair. Much better. I mean... Look, we know how limited Albania are, but they've given France plenty to think about tonight. Griezmann's flick on to Gignac. Will France get a second? Gignac in the area. Tackled by Mavrai. Mavrai plays the ball away to Legnani. Legnani, a brashy's pass forward is blocked. Conte with the hand. He's on a yellow card. It wasn't deliberate. Here's La Marseillaise. Acoustic version in Marseille. France leading Albania by the goal to nil. Three minutes of added time remaining. And to be fair to France, they've shown plenty of character the second half. You know, it, it could have been frustrating. They've had to be patient. They've had to wear Albania down. But um, I think just against better opposition, France really would have struggled tonight on that level of performance. Last group game is against Switzerland. France will be on six points. Switzerland four. Draw for France good enough to top the group. Winner of this group will play a third place team from either Group C... Uh, D or E could possibly be Northern Ireland uh, or the Republic of Ireland French fans all on their feet pretty much bouncing this entire stadium up and down now and Albania have two and a half minutes to pull off the improbable they're 1-0 down flicked header into the penalty area and one of the Albanian players it's the centre-back Mavra taking a whack in the side of the head has gone down and he's going to need some treatment I think that was a clash of heads it's a real bad clash of heads oh yeah Koscielny really ooh, bad clash ooh. of heads now, is he going to give a free kick for that or is he just going to give a bounce ball? That looks horrendous, so it does. Mm, nasty. Going to get another little look at the goal again. Griezmann in that little bit of space. Chance came. I think he's touched the ball, Griezmann, since coming on about four times. But one of them's ended up in the back of the net. France 1, Albanian 0. 0500 909 693 is the number to call us tonight. We're on air until half past 10. 85058 to text at 5 Live Sport on social media. Neil Lennon here taking your calls. Uh, through to half past ten looking ahead to the big one tomorrow a couple of big ones England Wales in Lens kicks off at two o'clock Northern Ireland against Ukraine in Lyon and by the way on the final whistle tomorrow after the England Wales game Chris Waddle and Robbie Savage uh, will be taking your calls uh, the game is also on BBC One and if you want the best of both worlds red button watch the pictures uh, listen to John Murray Alan Green Chris Waddle and Nathan Blake uh, bringing you uh, the commentary. We've had drama tonight, not quite the drama we expected. It took France a long time. So it's an 89th minute winner in the first game, a 90th min minute winner in the second game. We think a winner anyway, because we're pretty much out of time here. Although there'll be a little bit more added on. Bounce ball, and Conte smashes it downfield. But um, you've got to stand and applaud the Albanians at the end of the game as well. Their fans and their players, they've been brilliant. Whistles from the French fans. Barisha, the keeper, whacks it long for Albania. Headed away to the edge of the box. Mavrai, who's just taking the big knock on the head, is over there playing as a left winger and going for some step overs. <laughs> Sanya's blocked him. Pogba's on the ball, looks up, slips as he plays the pass. What a pass! 70 yards to Gignac. Payet's behind him, he wants it. Payet gets it into the area. On the right foot, Payet! 2 0. 
He's the hero for France. They seal the deal. They're through to the last 16. Dimitri Payet does a flying kick on the corner flag. He's been something special in this tournament. France 2, Albania 0. Well, again, you got a sympathy for the Albanians. 1-0 down, and they've gone for it. They've gone for it. Didn't have the quality to get the ball into the box. France break, an absolutely unbelievable pass from Pogba. 40-50 yard diagonal to Gignac. Slips it back to Payet, and then he does what he's so good at. Steps inside the defender and bends an absolute beauty past the goalkeeper. France 2, Albania 0. Dimitri Payet, as a former Marseille player, scoring deep in added time, his second goal of the tournament, having a wonderful tournament. But you'll look at this scoreline in the newspaper tomorrow and you think, yeah, routine France win, 2-0, that's what I expected. It's been absolutely nothing of the sort. No, I wouldn't I wouldn't say, though, that it flatters them, Alistair, because they have been on top for long periods of the game. But, you know, it doesn't tell the whole story. Look, like, it's right on the, on the final whistle. All over. France are through to the last 16. Albania held them for the full 90 minutes. But Griezmann's header and Payet's goal on the break mean France go top of the group ahead of their last game against Switzerland. They didn't entirely convince, but they fought till the end. And the players fall into each other's arms and celebrate with some joyous French fans in Marseille. Neil Lennon sitting here until half past 10, 0500 909 693 to get your calls in. It has finished at the Stade Velodrome in Marseille, France 2, Albania 0. Neil Lennon, they say in France that Didier Deschamps was born under a bon étoile, under a lucky star. Is this proof of it? Um. No, I think I think <laughs> okay. Kelly. Look, if, if the team he's picked. I think he'll admit it himself afterwards. It didn't work, but then he's always got the the backup of bringing the likes of Pogba and Griezmann on. They didn't play well first half. They played it, you know, functionally better second half. The fact they won the game was because Albania just ran out of steam. You know, they, they were they're cramping up. They they lost their ambition with 10, 15 minutes to go. You could see the goal coming. There's just too much quality out there for France not to score. And in the end, they broke them down. Did it flatter them? 1-0 would have probably been a fair reflection on the game. Uh, but there were there were a lot of facets of France's play tonight that were not pleasing. But he will have learned a lot of this uh, from this game tonight, this jump. Certainly far more than the opening game. Yes, yeah, so they, they've qualified now. That's them confirmed to be in the, in the last 16. What does he do with the next game, which is, which is effectively a free hit? You know, well, Kelly, I was thinking about that before the game. You know, when people are talking about resting Pogba and Griezmann, why wouldn't he, you know, get through this game tonight and then rest them for the third game? So maybe, maybe now he'll use the squad. I don't know. Maybe he'll give some of them a break. I don't know. But um, I think it was a bit of a gamble. Technically, he wanted to play with wit, but Martial and Coleman didn't perform to the levels that we know they can. A draw would do for France, Kelly, in that last game against Switzerland to see them top the group. I think that might be important. Runner-up in this group plays the runner-up in Group C. That's Germany, Poland, Ukraine, Northern Ireland. Could well be Poland. I'm not sure you'd necessarily want to take on Lewandowski, Milik and co. But we'll just have to wait and see. At the moment, uh, the French players are doing a lap of honour, and quite rightly as well, Neil Lennon. Uh, another thought for the Albanians who are obviously not celebrating with their fans but they can be rightly proud of their performance both sets of players still out on this pitch for 90 minutes Albania held France and they just couldn't last they were magnificent you know to a man they were obviously I thought there were some outstanding performers for the Albanians tonight a jetty unfortunately had to go off I think that was a big moment actually you know a jetty going off because he had defended so well in the absence of Sana I thought Ajedi had a good game. I thought Agnoli, the left back, was outstanding as well. And in midfield, they worked their tails off. But these guys aren't playing at the highest level week in, week out. Some of them aren't even playing regular football for the clubs. And when you're playing at this level of intensity, it catches up in the, the intensity of the game. You know, the mental uh, tiredness kicks in. And you could just see it in the last 15 minutes that they more or less gone physically. And it was all about France. Could they get the breakthrough? And eventually they did.